Angela Diaz has pleaded not guilty. Michelle Hadley is with us exclusively along with her attorney, attorney Michael Giusti. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. What was it like to live through this? Uh, horrifying. <laughs> it is really like your worst nightmare coming true. When you were being accused of all these things, of sending these threatening emails, of then sending men to Angela's house to have sex with her forcibly, you were telling the police, I'm not doing this. This has nothing to do with me. Did you get any sense that even for a second they believed you? No. Uh, I got the sense that it was quite the opposite. I got the sense they didn't want to hear my side of the story. Th there is a little extra part of this. When the relationship with your ex fiance broke up, you did send some emails to him that were nasty. I wouldn't call them nasty, but I would say that the language that I used was more forceful than I would normally take. But the tone and the language was very different from what Angela was using. But if you read those emails as a police officer, do you think they would have led you to be a likely suspect in what was happening with Angela Diaz? I think that the police have a responsibility to do a true, thorough investigation, regardless of what they suspect off of something speculative. We reached out to the Anaheim <laughs> Police Department for comment. Here's what they said. We believe our actions were appropriate based on the evidence that was known to us at the time. In addition, it was the persistent efforts of the detective who ultimately uncovered the truth that led to Michelle's exoneration. How do you feel about that? I believe that the police had enough information available to them before they arrested me the first time to know it wasn't me doing it. Ironically, Angela Diaz, although she's pleaded not guilty, um, she's being held in the same jail where you spent three months. Yeah. That's an unbelievable twist. Yeah, um, it, it, you know, it's very weird to watch the case from the other side now and having gone through that, knowing what it's like. Did you have any contact with her? Did you have any relationship no. with Angela? You ever met her? No, not before any of this happened. I had no idea who she was and out of the blue, I'm getting a restraining order from her. Do you have any idea why she had this <laughs> feeling toward you? Um, I have my theories, but... What's your theory? <laughs> uh, well, there was a condo issue, and it, to me, it's about the condo. Because otherwise, what threat am I? You know, I was out of the picture. Michael, um, you've called this the ultimate identity theft. The, the perfect storm of catfishing. Yeah, and, and you filed a lawsuit. Yes. Well, again. We're, we're, there's a process in California, but we're in that process, yes. So, and, so what do you think the outcome of this will be, and what's the cautionary tale here? What the outcome is going to be is that Michelle's name is being cleared. Anaheim's going to have to be held accountable in front of a jury for what they did. And what the, what's a cautionary tale? Goodness, globally, be nice. Don't do these things to people. <laughs> I would imagine you're looking forward to getting this behind you. Yes, very much so. Well, I appreciate you telling your story yeah. here thank on you. the show, Michelle. Thank you very much. Good yeah. luck to you, Michael. Thank you. thank you. Thank you very much. And you can see more of this story tonight on Dateline. That's at 10, 9 central right here on NBC. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.